Hey Capricorn, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you. Today has been such a rainy, <sighs> it's just been such a rainy day and it's just been so blah. And I promise you, I really didn't feel like getting up doing anything. And I'm like, I really need to do reads because I am behind, okay? <laughs> so yeah, but I have new cards. I'm gonna be doing a reads a little bit different. Of course, you guys already know, I don't really like to do things like the same way for too long because I just, that's just not me. That's not who I am. So I try to switch up a lot of stuff. This is the reason why I buy so many different cards. You guys know the general tarot like this. You guys are familiar with this, these type of cards. Um, and, you know, it's easy for you guys to see. But generally, I like to do uh, other cards because it's like more of an advanced type thing. You get more out of the reading as far as what has really happened in the situation. Things that you guys need to know. Um, and also, it gets more deep with the feelings and the way it, it, it is explained, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started with your read, Capricorn. Here at uh, the first card, oof, five of swords. This is truly a battle. This is what you guys have been dealing with. This is who you've been dealing with. And this is also talking about mental conflict. You've dealt with a whole lot. Now here with this, this is the general. I had to read a lot, which I do. And it, it, it this basically talked about how, you know, of course the troops are down. This has been a battle. And so this person is down in the trenches. They're looking for help. This person needs nourishment. This person needs that. And the moon is sitting right there. What is the moon? The mother. The moon represents that, represents that help, right? Even when you're the last man standing, even when you feel like it's just you and nobody else. But we know by that card, it's not, right? So you guys have been through it. But we're going to see. It's just This is just like the beginning part of the story. That's just the beginning of the story. Oof. Yes. Oh, man. You guys have been through it, honey. And look at this. Here with the Nine of Swords. Remember, this is about battle, betrayal, heartbreak, anxiety. So you guys, you know, appear to be down, right? Not getting back up, but see, no, that's not the, that's not the case. See, even with your mind, that's how you feel. You went through all of that. You went through all of that, and here it is, the Knight of Cups. Someone coming in, or someone did come in, and what did they do? Did they destroy you? Did they hurt you? What did they do? Is this someone new coming in? What is it? We're going to go ahead and we're going to keep going here. Oh, you guys are in a dark space. A dark place right now. Overthinking. And I see this is just not you. It's not you, Capricorn. This is not, you're not the only one. So you have a lot of newness here with the Ace of Wands. You're about to start something new. So you've had this, right? You've had these days. You've had this. You've, you've been down in the trenches. You've been feeling alone. You felt like you were by yourself. And then you got help somehow or you got through it. And now someone is like, Someone is going through something themselves. Now someone else is feeling alone and feeling like they can't move, right? Because see, you've had all of these feelings, but see here, this is you. You're lighting the way, honey. The Ace of Wands represents a brand new start, passionate new start, but with who and with what? So we're gonna go ahead and clarify these cards. We're gonna get some more though. Six of Swords. See, someone is hiding the way that they feel or hiding, avoiding responsibility for what they've done. 
And there's a sense of two different personalities. You want someone is being searched for and the other person is, is, is hiding away. Six of Swords also talks about moving on into a peaceful place, right? Maybe because they truly don't understand where they really are. These people are searching for him. Maybe it's for their own good. Maybe it's just something that they don't see. But this is a sense of like hiding from something from the past, avoiding responsibility. And part of the reason why you're the last man standing, you felt alone and betrayed. And see, this was a part of you that felt like, hey, I, I got to get away. I got to run. I got to run here. And this person is trying to find you, believe it or not. This is what I really do feel. See, there's a part of you that don't want any parts of what has happened in the past. You don't want that because, see, you've been in that nine of swords energy. You understand what this is about. See, you had the love. You had, you had all of that, right? But someone is coming towards you, Capricorn. See, you could hide all you want, right? Not in a creepy way, but you can hide. But this person is going to be, I, I personally feel they're going to be very adamant about what they need to tell you what they want to talk to you about, okay? I wanna make sure you guys see these cards. There we go, okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and get some more. Ten of Wands. See, what happens before the, the Ace of Wands, right? It's that you, you burn, it's almost the same thing, right? It's like you have the burden that you're about to put down and that you, you and I love the fact that they have the torch here with her. It's like burning up the past is done. It's done. It's done. I don't want to deal with it anymore, but she's lighting up the ace of wands because she's about to go to her new start. See her future is bright. Her future is in front of her male or female. It doesn't matter. I'm only looking at the picture. And I'm telling you what's happening here with you. See, you've been through war. You've been through the storm, right? You got away for the most part. You were able to stand alone and be where you were. Even though it felt you felt lonely and you felt isolated, but you were able to do it because here, how could anyone get to where they need to go if they're not strong. The Ten of Wands represents that very thing, putting down that burden in your new start starting. We already saw the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you even felt like you were down. You even had that moment where you felt like nothing good was going to happen. Isolated, feeling lonely. I'm getting that a lot from you. I'm getting a lot of lonely feelings. Needing to know the direction to go in. What should I do? How should I feel? I don't know. Confusion. But that's about to be all over with. Here with the Queen of Coins. Some of you guys, this is you. This is you. Some of you guys have dealt with a lot of things on your own. You've been taking care of children. But see, there's going to be the stability that you feel on the inside. And like I said, I do feel like the person is going to come back to you because see, this is the Knight of Cups. So this is them bringing you something, them bringing you an offer. Because see, both of you guys have been in this rough place. One person trying to pretend that they're not, or both are trying to pretend that they're not, but is very lonely and isolating feelings, stuck. This is a very dark place. Do you guys, and you know, not know that you're going to get out of this? This is like the this is like where dead people are, right? For the most part, a lot of you guys didn't think that you can see the brighter day, and here you are with the torch, lighting up the way, right? That's right. Let's go ahead and get one more card, and we're going to clarify. So now you have what you need. This here with the page of swords talk about a message, but it also talks about seeing things with your mind's eye, getting all the information you need in order to move forward. Because why? Because you're about to, there's something new here. Something new that's about to start. 
The Queen of Pentacles is comfort. That's what this is about. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck, guys. Justice is on the way. From who and what? But it's coming. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. Oof. You guys have been through it. You have. But someone is, you know, hmm. Someone is coming. And maybe this is the new person. Because I did see the Ace of Wands at the bottom. And we have that Ten of Wands. And she's lighting it up. That letting you know that something's about to start for you. Let's go ahead and get that Five of Swords. Battle of the Lovers. Now this is supposed to be romantic. This is supposed to be sweet and good. We were supposed to see eye and eye. We, we weren't supposed to be this way. But it was a war nonetheless for you. But this person wants to come back in and make things better. Remember, this is the Six of Swords. This is talking about peace. They're looking for you. Okay. You may not want to be found, but they are. Let's go ahead and get the Nine of Swords. Ooh, two came out. Ooh, too many came out. That's okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. We have the five of cups. Someone is missing someone like crazy. And that is your past here with the six of cups. Regret with the five of cups. Regret. Here with the high priestess, someone is learning here wisdom. You guys are not talking, but something needs to happen, right? Remember, someone is looking for you, Capricorn. But you're good. You're, you got your silence. You, you got, you, you're quiet. But there's this both of you guys are have this coldness. Look at this pain. Look at these memories that you guys have. And it's like there's no sun. It's just coldness. There's no light. There's nothing here. Okay? But it definitely represents your past is trying to do something. Definitely with that two of cups, I feel it. And you see it right here with this knight of cups. Someone is coming in from your past, that the one that made a huge mistake and have a lot of regrets. So let's go ahead and get the knight of cups. Mm. Okay. I'm not trying to even get these many. I'm just trying to get a few and they're coming out. I usually get three, but I'm like, I'm trying to do a little bit different, but it's like, nope, just give it to them. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, what, what is this talking about? This talk about reciprocity, flourishing here. Here, look at beautiful trees. See, once before there was this one person wasn't really doing anything and what the other person was working a lot and then the other person wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> okay? They really didn't give too much in this connection and now you have this knight coming in because now all of a sudden they want to give you something. And look at this at the bottom of the deck. Right, not the bottom, but right below it. The eight of wands. But look how fast they're coming, right? Oh, they, they, they're going to be emailing, not even emailing. This is communication, honey. So it's not, it's nothing written. So this is going to be a phone call. This is going to be a text message. It's going to be something and it's going, and they're, they're coming. They're going to come once they realize, because remember that silence, but once they realize what this really is about, because you're hiding and they're trying to find you, then all of a sudden they're going to want to try to come in. But look at how you are defensive. 
Can you imagine somebody coming to your house? What what, the, what does that look like if, if someone comes to your door and you have this in your hand? <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but listen, you're defensive, okay? Because see, you know you've been, you went, you've been through war and there's only one way for you to defend yourself in the emotional sense is to be defensive. Here with the five of swords. See, you were already dealing with someone who was very sneaky and playing with, with your mind and, ha and, and trick you with the words. See, this is how you view them. But that's the person who's coming here. Because nonetheless, the Knight of Cups, the Cups is on a horse, the horse brain things. So they are coming. We already know they're going to be communicating. Let's go ahead and get the Eight of Swords. Some of you guys were worried about money and that will not be an issue. But one thing about this Ten of Pentacles, you guys, for some of you were in a committed relationship and this person has memories of that. Remember, I said this person miss you, right? And it's been a while, possibly, since you guys have spoken and this could have been an older relationship, an older connection, or it may feel like it's growing old and cold and dying. But the Ten of Pentacles is the thing that kind of get you out of it because now there's 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 value there there's going to be value added here and we see them coming back with the page of cups okay let's go ahead and get the six of swords the moon See, this connection being over is only an illusion to you, <laughs> Capricorn. Because to them, no, we already see it. This has been a struggle for you. And a struggle for them now because now you guys are not talking. So over for you is an illusion, but for them, this is about to start right back up. And it's your choice. But what are they bringing? Justice. And some of them actually want commitment. You guys may actually have a new person coming in for you. Someone from your past, definitely, with the Six of Cups right above that Knight of Pentacles head. And it, don't, it, may, it may not even have to be the past that did all of this. It could be just the past, but we know there's a past coming. There's the Ten of Wands that you're dropping this burden that you're putting down but there's also this ace of wands this new passion beginning that's about to start let's get this queen of coins queen of pentacles something is going to shock you <laughs> So, you know, brace yourself because this is also talking about transformation, something that's seen dead and over, but this is going to shake things up for you here with the, with the, with the queen of coins. This is you guys, Capricorn. It's going to shake things up because you're magic. You've, you've dealt with this person. You've dealt with this person in the past because they brought other people in and it was that it was that competition and it was the competing thing. You weren't competing, but you really were competing because you didn't realize you were in a connection with more than one person. And again, now they want to be more reciprocal of this connection. Let's go ahead and get to the page of page of swords. And see, now they're spying you out. They're watching you. <laughs> and they want to come back because you left see that lonely feeling that they have yeah those memories they're not satisfied but they thought they were going to be satisfied Oof. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 
This actually came out. Yes. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love this card. Can't wait to show you. Four of Cups. Remember, now this is them being discontented. This is them at the Eight of Cups sitting by themselves feeling lonely because, see, they thought the Seven of Cups is what they really wanted, all those, or those, those choices and options. And now it's not what they thought it was going to be. Now they're feeling like it was a missed opportunity and feeling sad and yeah, but then the Ace of Wands. Here you're going to be fruitful. And I love the fact that it's a cat here. This is just too funny because I'm not, I'm not even sure if you saw a cat before. <laughs> With the uh, here with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like you have the dogs, but then you have the cat because this talks about the feminine, okay? Because the feminine gives very abundantly, and the Ace of Wands is letting you know that even financially, you guys are going to be very abundant. So, you have all of this beautiful things coming to you, all of it here with the Nine of Wands. You guys have been tired, you've been there, you've had your stories, you told everybody what has happened, but now here it is. Here it is, your brand new start. And justice is coming for you. Even money. So it's going to be your choice if you want to take this person back from the past, as we see. It's your choice, but they're coming. The Capricorn. This is your read. Okay? I will be back this week. And for those of you who do not know, I am doing um, personal readings. All right? The information is inside the description box. Please give me time to... Uh, and message you back because I have tons of emails that I have to get to, but I usually do, okay? But I thank you guys so much for watching me, and I will see you guys back here in a few days. Thank you.